How's it going YouTube? I wanna welcome you guys back to a new daily vlog. Today is Tuesday. I kinda of neglected to start filming until a little later on in the day, um, but I am on my way to go get a quick haircut. I usually like my hair to be a little bit shorter on the sides. I don't think I've gotten a haircut in like a month, a month and a half. So I'm gonna go get that done really quick. Today we are going to be changing the brakes on this car that I'm driving right now. It's a 2016 Mazda 3. It's just one of our family cars. We've had it since it was brand new. Um, it's got almost 80,000 miles on it right now and uh, it needs a brake job up front. I already changed the rear brakes. I changed the pads and the rotors in the rear. I'm just going to be changing the front pads so hopefully it won't take as much time. Um, I would have changed the rotors as well. There's just like none in any dealerships around me and I don't really want to wait while they uh, while they get shipped in the mail. So we're just going to do the pads up front. It shouldn't be too hard. Like I said I already did the rear. It's pretty much the same thing. I don't know if there's anything else that I need to unhook or anything like that. It's not really gonna be super informative, like, cause I have no idea what I'm doing and I, yeah, whatever. But that's what we're gonna be doing for the day. Let me get this haircut out of the way and we will we'll cut to the brakes. So we just got home. I'm about to change into some dirtier clothes to get this brake change done. I just had to get on here real quick, show off a fresh haircut, you know, <laughs> but yeah, let me cut to getting those brakes done. Okay, so we are all set up, getting ready to change the front rotors on this 2016 Mazda 3. Um, look at the freaking razor, looking so good. She's got a little detail. She's got a product review coming out here soon. That's just getting edited by my editor. Uh, so whenever that comes out, I will make sure to post it. Um, like I said, this isn't gonna be super informative. I'm not gonna tell you every single tool you need. And the only thing that I can say that you need if you're changing pads is new pads. But besides that, yeah, let me, let's get this tripod set up. I'll do a little time lapse and I'll kind of kind of get in on a couple moments where, uh, where I kind of do want to get into it a little bit. Just had to cut in here for a second. So we've got the wheel off and the brake caliper off as well. Um, here is where the brake pads are housed. Here's the rotor. Here is the piston side of the piston part of the caliper. Now, when you, when you take this off, you can undo this clip back here and just kind of like hang the caliper up here so it doesn't, uh, there's no tension on this, but there's really not too much tension on this brake line and they're pretty sturdy. I'm not worried about it at all. So um, I will say that the difference between the rear and the front, this piston here, I thought that you, in the rear, you actually have to buy a tool that like twists the piston and pushes it back in. Cause when you put in new brake pads, Obviously there's more pad there. So this piston is pushed in too much. Anyways, to, to shorten it up, it just won't fit back on the rotor because there's more brake pads. So you have to push this in to let it um, adjust to the new pads. But on the rear, you do need a tool here. You actually, I think you can just push it in or get like a C-clamp and just compress it down and it will push back in, which is gonna save me a heck of a lot of time and hassle, so. Like I said, I just wanted to jump in on here. These are super easy to take off, way easier than I thought. There's four bolts. There's two, let's see, I think it's, yeah, it is, it's these two bolts right here. They go on to here. I think those are like a size 13. Um, and you take those off and that will actually release this part of the brake, cal brake caliper. And then this is still sitting on the rotor and there's two bolts back here. These are pretty hard to put on. They're covered there. They've got some red Loctite on there. I have blue Loctite. I'll just have to use that. Um, and those just attach back onto these two points, but extremely easy. I think that took me less than five minutes to do. So let's get back into this time-lapse. I'm going to put these new cal these new pads on. I might've actually done this a little prematurely now that I'm looking at it. Um, here's the new pad. Here's how much life that's got. And then if we compare that, don't mind the snakeskin pants. I just had to wear some old shoes. Um, if we if we compare that to what there is now, I mean, it definitely didn't need it, but it, it would have hurt and I already bought all of them. So I didn't want to go back to the store to return them. So anyways, let's get these on and we'll go from there.
So as you guys can tell, we got it all done. It's extremely straightforward. Um, I don't think it even helped that I did the back brakes. I mean, that was super easy. It was literally four bolts and two brake pads and that's it. And then you just put everything back together. I know I said that I wouldn't really like get into what I used, but just because how easy it was, all it was was a 17 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, a C-clamp just to compress the, the piston, and then a breaker bar, and that's it. And, and some Loctite if you really wanna use it. But literally, it was the easiest, it was pretty much like an oil change, to be honest with you guys. These brakes are super easy to get done. I don't think that took me more than 20 minutes, but I'm gonna go over and do the other side. I'm not gonna film that. This is actually where I'm gonna end the video. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Like I said, it's such a straightforward job. Once you're in there, you know exactly what you're doing. It's not too hard at all. Um, I just like to use a couple extra tools like an air compressor or something like that just to keep everything clean, but it's completely up to you. Like I said, that is gonna be the Tuesday vlog. It'll be posted at 11.30 tonight. Um, and then I will see you guys on Wednesday tomorrow. Thanks so much. We'll see you later.